Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planty video. So for this one, I am going to be doing like a version of my monthly plant haul. I'm not really buying a whole lot of plants these days. I did buy one. I was gifted by a friend one and uh, then I got the package from Botanicas as I'm sure a lot of you have seen that video. If you haven't, go check it out. It's a really epic unboxing. So today I'm gonna show you the two new plants that I got and then I'm also going to give an update on how my Botanicas plants are doing. I have some exciting things to share, so yes. I'm also gonna be doing it in the format of me kind of walking around and showing you things in their place, more of like a tour style rather than me sitting and showing you everything right here just because, I don't know, just to keep things interesting. I feel like I get bored with my videos when I'm just like, you know, sitting in the same spot holding things up. So so hopefully you guys like it when I switch it up a little bit. Let me know your feedback down below. But all right, let's just hop into it. Maybe I will start off by showing you guys the plant that I bought. Okay, so this is the first plant that I'm going to be showing you. And this is the one that I actually went and picked out. I purchased this baby because I fell in love with it. So this is a trailing jade or... It was reclassified, but it's commonly known as a Senecio Jacobsenii, I think. Um, and then the like actual name, I'll put it here on the screen. I, I have no idea, to be honest with you. But um, it's like most common name is uh, Trailing Jade. And I got this when I went back to Nanaimo a couple of weeks ago. I popped into Little Tree, which is one of my all-time favorite plant stores um, and I got this guy for $14.99. I had been wanting a trailing jade for honestly quite some time. Um, like over a year ago I came across somebody on TikTok who had a really long beautiful one and she was just raving about how it's such an underrated plant and you guys know that I love trailing house plant so ever since then it was kind of on my radar but I just never really came across a nice specimen um I've seen the I've seen these popping up quite a bit lately but they all just look kind of sad so when I saw there were several really happy ones at Little Tree and for what I think is a super great price for such a full basket I just had to grab it because I am trying to gather some more larger hanging plants for my canopy bed frame here so that's why I picked up this one um kind of a long story of why I decided to buy this but yeah so I'm super happy with it I cannot wait to see him get longer um I'm hoping that he's going to be getting enough light here he's about oh leaves are falling off He's about uh, three feet from my south facing window, but he doesn't get direct sun. The roof like juts out and it's kind of blocked. So he gets like brightish, like medium to bright indirect light, I would say. Probably more like medium um, indirect lights. But yeah, so if anyone has one of these, please leave a comment down below whether you think that this is going to be enough light, what type of conditions do you keep yours in? Just, you know, let me know because I would love to see him do well and trail. He is growing. Look at the little new leaf right there. So cute. These do grow. They can trail like up to, I don't know, like four-ish feet long, maybe even longer with good care. And yeah, I haven't done anything with him yet. Like I haven't even watered him or anything. Um, obviously it's more like succulent like leaves. So I'm just kind of waiting until he dries out um, fully to water him. But yeah, there is some like damage happening on the leaves. I don't know if that's just from adjusting you know you take plants home and they're not living in like perfect greenhouse conditions anymore so that's kind of normal i'm just going to kind of give him time and assess i might end up moving him like onto my plant shelf in the living room where he can get some direct sun so i'm gonna turn this down this is like pumping out the humidity here um but yeah i'm just kind of waiting and seeing because i would love to have him on my bed but obviously if he's not going to do well here then i will move him to the living room where he can get more light but yeah i plan on making a whole video um you know filling this bed up with plants i just haven't really gotten to there yet i'm still just focusing on other things trying to get settled it's not super high on my 
priority list, but I am very excited for when that happens. Uh, I would love for these to all be in like black hanging baskets, so maybe I'll have to keep my eye out for those in uh, some garden shops. But yeah, my beautiful trailing jade is the first plant. Okay, the second one here is, I am going to move this one actually. It does live on my self-facing window at the end of my bed there, but I am going to move it because I don't like filming outside my window because it's just like my neighbor's backyard's there and it's just weird. Um, so this is my, this isn't good lighting either. My goodness. Maybe I'll put it right here. Ooh, he looks good. Okay, so this is my beautiful Skindapsis Silver Hero. Look at these leaves. <gasps> I, oh, I'm so in love with this plant. If you watched my wish list video, you would know that this has been one of my wish list plants for a while now. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me post this on Instagram already. I actually did an unboxing, but I haven't finished that vlog yet. It's going to be in a vlog, so I'm kind of doing this backwards. I haven't posted the unboxing yet, but I just, I just have to share this guy with you. I'm just so in love with it. So this was so kindly and graciously sent to me by my friend Abigail from The Pursuit of Joy. So she lives in the Toronto area and we've been plant friends for a little while. We've sent a couple of packages back and forth and um, her and her husband decided that they were going to pick a plant off of my wish list and go buy it for me because they were going to visit Secret Garden Boutique in Guelph, uh, which is like a specialty rare plant shop. And um, so that was their plan. That's what they're going to do, which is so freaking kind for them to like buy me a plant. Like, are you kidding me? That's that's just so nice. And to choose one of my wish list plants like I just I couldn't even believe it. So they go there and they're chatting up the owner and they mentioned that they were buying this plant to gift to me. And then the owner gifted it to them to gift to me. Like they just gave it to them for free, which is so nice. Um, I, I just, ugh, I can't even believe it. People in the plant community are so stinking kind. And yeah, it just blows me away. So this is like a double gifted plant. And yeah, it's just so special. I love it so much. It's just as beautiful as I was expecting it to be. If you guys are familiar with my channel, then you would know that silver toned leaves are my favorite type of foliage, uh, or one of my favorites at least. I love silver, I love like super dark foliage, but um, yeah, so of course this was on my wish list because of that, and they went and got it for me, which was so, so kind. So thank you so much to Abigail, Brian, who is her husband, and um, Lori, I believe is her name, who is the owner of Secret Garden Boutique. Yeah, just so, so nice. So I'm very excited to be growing this. Um, it is sitting in the self-facing window in my bedroom. It doesn't get a ton of direct light. It hasn't been super sunny lately, but yeah, it gets decent humidity there and like bright, bright, pretty bright light. So it should be happy there. I'm just monitoring because it was just shipped to me. So yeah. Okay, so next we are going to hop into my Botanica's plants updates, which I cannot believe how well most of these plants are doing after being shipped for three weeks or over three weeks, like almost a month in the mail, you guys, and these plants are just doing the most. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the first one here. This is the Philodendron Campo Sportuanum. So as you can see, it is still hanging on to its leaves, which is impressive in itself. However, my friends, it has given me a new little leaf. Oh my goodness. This honestly started pushing out this new leaf like as soon as I unboxed it. It was like within the next couple of days. Oh yeah, I should also say I've had these plants for, I unboxed them about 13 days ago. So just under two weeks, just to give you like some sort of timeline reference. But yeah, this started pushing out a new leaf just within the couple days after I unboxed it. And I couldn't even believe it. I was like, what is this thing doing? Like. Oh my goodness, so crazy. Um, so yeah, this plant's definitely going to be just fine. I wonder if it needs a water yet. It's gonna need a water soon, I think. Um, maybe within the next day or so. But yeah, so that is the new little leaf. Obviously it's just a small one and it's not perfect because of 
you know, what it just went through, but still, it's a new leaf and it just, yeah, I was floored. And yeah, the plant just looks really healthy. Like it is just ready to rock. Um, and I'm very excited to have this in my home. I love philodendron camposportoanum. It is such a good one and in my opinion, really underrated. So if you can get your hands on one, I definitely would. I have another one. I'll probably end up combining them and I'd love to get it on a pole one of these days. So maybe we'll do that in an upcoming plant chores video. But yeah, this one, doing awesome. Okay, this is unrelated, but I cannot handle how cute this baby Alocasia cupria is. Like, oh my gosh. It's the, just sitting there like that. Like, oh, who gave you permission to be this stinking cute? Oh my goodness, I could just stare at that thing. It's so adorable. Okay, moving along. Okay, so this is the next one I'm going to be showing you. This is one of the begonias. I believe that this is, oh gosh, is it Botanica's one? I will put it in the screen. I'm so scared of messing it up again because the other one I definitely misnamed, which I made a correction on. But um, yeah, this is like the one that had the bigger leaves. Give you a better look. It basically looks the same as when I unboxed it, which is pretty impressive in itself. Um, but it looks like, you guys, oh, as you can see, I have it in this little humidity dome also, but it looks like there is going to be a new leaf there. Do you see that, my friends? Do you see that little point? Like, oh my goodness, I will be so excited when this thing comes out with a new leaf. Um, so yeah, this begonia doing not bad, doing not bad, doing better than I expected because uh, with these types of begonias being in shipping for that long, I just expect them to lose everything to, sh to just go down to nothing, which is the case with my other begonias and then they came back to life. But yeah, this one doing pretty freaking good. So I'm very excited about that. The other one I have in my greenhouse cabinet. So actually the rest of the plants I think are in there. So let's pop over there. Okay, I'm actually not even going to open the doors. Sorry if that's annoying, but I already opened them once today to do some watering. And it's like, it's maintaining really good humidity in here. Um, like mid-90s. So I just don't want to mess with that again because obviously I have important plants in here right now. So yeah, let's just start at the top here. I'll save the most exciting thing for last. So this is my Philodendron Splendid, uh, which is a cross between Melanochrysum and Varicosum, which are both like some of my all-time favorite plants. So I'm just so hyped that I have this plant. Oh, can I show you guys my Varicosum quick? It has a new leaf. Oh my gosh, do you see that new leaf? The El Chaco is kind of blocking it, but it's the bright, the bright green one right there. Let's go from this side maybe. You can't really see it that well, but oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Okay, I feel like we're in like a museum or something where we can't go in the glass, but I'm just being, you know, I'm just too much lately with these plants, so. Okay, Um. so the Philodendron Splendid, you guys, that is a new freaking leaf right there. Do you see it all rolled up, just unfurling? Like, and it looks nice, like, I'm, I'm so shocked. This plant was not phased, you guys. Like, just living its best life still after living in the mail for a month. I could not believe it. I saw it as like a tiny little new leaf starting to poke out. And I was like, oh, that probably won't, you know, nothing's gonna come to fruition. And then it did. It just popped out like yesterday. Like, I can't even believe it. It's just so impressive, like how hardy these are. I've heard that the philodendron hybrids are especially hardy so yeah very cool to see how well it is doing there and i'm just so excited to grow this plant definitely going to be getting this on a pole eventually as well once it grows i have a whole list of plants that i need to get on poles um but yeah doing really well and then over here, we have my Monstera Obliqua, which I still cannot even believe is living in my home. Like, it's just absolutely crazy to me. Um, you can see that was like the newest leaf that had the little fenestration, the one at the top there. And that leaf like fully, it was kind of 
furled like it was a little bit still curled up when i unboxed it but it's completely unfurled now and the little fenestration is so stinking cute i wish it was facing us so that i could show you guys but believe me it looks incredible and it's doing really well very happy um yeah i have like no concerns really at this point with this plant it's just doing awesome and it's getting really optimal conditions in here as well super high humidity uh good lighting we have the fans going like it should be it should be a-okay and then in that little tray right there is the other begonia that is the one that i mislabeled which is actually be begonia Magaya. I'm not, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that properly. Um, it means magic in Russian and it's a combination of Maggie and Anya's names because they are the creators of this begonia. But as you can see, that one died back to nothing, which is expected and I'm hoping that it is going to come back for me. I remember when this happened with my other ones, it was the most exciting thing in the world once I finally saw them like sprouting up and coming back so i'm just envisioning that happening with this one and yeah i you know what i i'm sure it will so <laughs> i will keep you guys posted i'm just putting it out there to the universe i'm sure it will um but yeah so that's what's going on with that one right now and then the last update you guys which i am just so excited to share with you um, as you can see this one, this was originally outside the cabinet in this, but it's warmer in the cabinet and I was just being like extra concerned. So I just poked a bunch of holes in it and, um, yeah, I could probably take the plastic wrap off because it's humid in there already. It's probably not even making that big of a difference, but for now I've just left it on and you guys, oh my gosh. Okay. Where can I get a view to show you here? Do you see that? Do you see that? I posted on my Instagram story. Maybe I'll try to take a picture and um, insert it so that you guys can see better. I'm literally laying on the floor so crazy trying to show this to you guys. But if you cannot tell what I'm trying to show you, the variegated Adansonii is giving us a new leaf, you guys. Oh my gosh. When I saw this, I gasped, of course, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, I just, ugh, that means that it's gonna be okay. That means that it's still alive and it's gonna thrive for me. So I'm just so excited about that. I cannot believe that it's already giving me new growth. Can you guys believe that? Seriously, after their journey in the mail and they're already just taking off? I just, yeah, I can't even believe it. I was so shocked when I saw that. Oh my goodness. I've been checking this like multiple times a day. And by the way, it hasn't lost any of the leaves. Like some of the leaves look a little rough, um, but it has not lost any of them. So yeah, I'm going to say that this plant is going to be okay, which I'm just so absolutely over the moon about. Okay, you guys, so that is all the plants that I have acquired throughout the month of September. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I'm missing any. I think that that is all of them. So please leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more planty content and for updates on the plants that you've seen in this video. Give it a like if you liked it. As always, thank you guys so much. I hope that you are doing so well and I will see you in the next one. Bye!